good. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Good morning, good afternoon, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, I want to talk about Ricky Smiley. And, and this article was taken out of the Daily Mail. He's given thanks and for the outpouring support that he received after his teenage daughter was shot three times in an alleged road rage incident. Comedian Ricky Smiley is giving thanks for all for the outpouring of love and support, expressing his anger over the shooting of his 19-year-old daughter, Aaron Smiley, in Houston on Sunday night. The Baylor University student was reportedly a passenger in a car when she was caught in the middle of an alleged road rage incident involving two other vehicles while waiting at a red light and was hit three times. Mm, mm, mm. Some After some extremely intense, terrifying hours, Smiley took to Instagram Monday and to reveal that his daughter had made it out of her operation and that she's doing great and thank you for your prayers. The stand-up comedian and actor 51 revealed on his radio show early Monday that Aaron was on her way to Whataburger location when she was caught in the middle of a crossfire. Oh, my God. I'm just so angry right now. I'm just so angry. This is, this is, these are Ricky's words. And I, I hear you, brother. I hear you. I hear you. We got to address the self-hatred that has been perpetuated from white supremacy. Cause we got to we gotta deal with it. And I don't know who was involved with this shooting. So I'm not jumping the gun to say that that is exactly what happened. But I just read an article, I just seen some replies was shot um uh, around the fourth. Um uh, and I mean The seat is full of blood. <sighs> to make matters worse, Aaron's family could not be with her due to the patient's isolation in the wake of a still raging COVID-19. The, the comedian, this is the most terrifying thing that has ever happened to me. I won't be out of the hospital for a while, nor will I be able to walk for a while due to nerve damage. I'm so sorry if I can't respond to everyone. Please know I'm thankful for all of those messages. This is what the girl left a message. Her car is just riddled with blood. She's actually posting the fact that the bullets went through my, my legs were armor rifle with bullets made to go through anything. How they got through the car. But once that... Whoop, But that one that hit me in the head, that would have hit me in the head was not that kind and ended up lodged in the car. Oh, my God. God, words can't describe how grateful I am to be alive right now. Oh, damn. This is the most terrifying thing that has ever happened to me. It's, oh, girl, I know. She was struck by armored rifle bullets designed to penetrate ballistic armor. Oh, God. All of this is, makes it even more scarier is that I'm alone. They won't let me see my parents or let anyone come in because of the COVID. I'm so terrified. Oh. Y'all, ooh, we got to get a grip. We got to get a grip. Y'all don't think a lot of, you know, a lot of people are angry. Yes, indeed. And a lot of people are really wilding out because they've been locked in a house. A lot of people are depressed and have all kinds of problems. And But this shit right here. The best of us. The best of us. 
Later on in that day, Smiley uploaded a video to YouTube where he expressed his frustration about gun violence and how he can't think straight since learning of the violent ordeal. I can't imagine what parents have to go through whose child has been killed. You can hear him say this could be said in a selfie. According to the Houston police, the occupants in one of the vehicles shot three men who were at the same stoplight. They all suffered non-threatening injuries. At the last check, though, police don't have anybody in custody. Uh, 19 years old. This is the best of us. Baylor University student. Shot down on some dumb shit. I don't know who did it, but I'm willing to guarantee you. Y'all already know. And yeah, white people have road rage. I'm not saying that they don't. I'm not saying that they don't. But one thing I will say, they usually hit their damn target. They usually hit their damn target. They really do. When I hear about all this willy-nilly shooting and this wild-ass shooting and stuff like that, first thing I think about is what going on in the hood, in the neighborhoods. No, ain't no neighborhood. The hood. But we back to recreate some neighborhoods. That's what our job and our mission is, y'all. If you living in the hood, you have to create a neighborhood. But that right there is mental illness. You are emotionally retarded when you get out your car. Your temper is so messed up that you just go start shooting. That's emotionally retarded. You are unbalanced. You are mentally ill. Whatever happened between you and the car over there, whatever happened to shoot some damn body is like, I got to figure out what's making me so angry. You know, emotion is one of the most strongest senses that we have. You know, and when they out of control, if you can't get beyond that and you act on everything you feel, that's a community and a nightmare uh, for people that try to live with some type of control about themselves, some type of discipline about themselves. This girl was a passenger in the car. And Lord knows it could have been so much worse. So Aaron, I want to say God bless you. I'm glad you're alive. I hope that this is temporary and you will be able to walk again. I hope you not and will have any permanent damage. But you're going to be permanently traumatized. Huh? And sometimes that's just as worse as the physical. In most cases. It's worse than the physical. And y'all know what the physical is in this situation. May God be with y'all, your family. And, um, you know, I'm just sorry to hear that. And I'll see you in the next video.